The official White House account tweeted yesterday, the cost of a 4th of July cookout is down 16 cents from last year. 16 cents? There, there has been a reduction in some of the costs of key components of the 4th of July, a 4th of July barbecue. So that was it, what the tweet was noting. So does the White House think that 16 cents off a of barbecue has more of an impact on people's lives than gas being a dollar more this time? Uh, this I would say this if you don't like hot dogs, you may not care of the reduction of cost. Can't, you don't have to like hot dogs. But a reduction of. I will say dog. that what we are most focused on is the fact that we've created now more than three million jobs since the president took office. That's what we're focused on, and continuing to implement additional uh, components of his economic build back better agenda. Go ahead, Andrea. Yeah, just gonna switch gears completely. Great. Yeah. <laughs> hot dogs. Are the best choice for the Democrats in 2020, why didn't President Obama endorse you? I asked President Obama not to endorse. Have you seen anybody draw bigger crowds than me here in this state? Yes. You're going to go after me no matter what. I me? got it. Yeah, you. And it's okay. It's good. I'm, I'm a big boy. I can handle it. Mr. President, what you talking about here from the ballot? You. I'm wondering if you have a comment on this report and court filing out of Arkansas that your son Hunter just made you a grandfather again. No, that's a private matter. I have no comment. Mr. Vice President, you would ask that. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you, guys. This is all the time we have. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. And so how do you know? Here's what I know. I know Trump deserves to be investigated. He is violating every basic norm of a president. You should be asking him the question, why is he on the phone with a foreign leader trying to intimidate a foreign leader, if that's what happened? That appears what happened. You should be looking at Trump. Trump's doing this because he knows I'll beat him like a drum. And he's using the abuse of power and every element of the, the uh, presidency to try to do something to smear me. Everybody looked at this, and everybody's looked at it and said there's nothing there. Ask the right question. Mr. Body, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I know he always asks me tough questions, and he always has an edge to them, but I like him anyway. So go ahead and answer, answer, ask the question. Let's go to Peter Ducey, who's fresh out of the news conference. Peter, we mentioned that he took questions from 10 people, you and Fox News, not among them. That's right. And I mentioned last night uh, on Special Report that I had a binder full of questions. I think some people were kidding. I was not kidding. We <laughs> had a lot. And most of this stuff did not get to. For example, nobody ever asked him about this big plan that he's got, this big idea to completely transform the economy. Okay, and just one more about yesterday. Uh, we noticed, starting at the end of the campaign and then into the transition and here at the White House, any time that the president has an event where he is given a list of reporters to call on. Fox is the only member of the five network TV pool that has never been on the list in front of the president. And I'm just curious if that is an official administration policy. We're here having a conversation, aren't we? Yes, but And do I take questions from you every time you come to the briefing room? Yes, but I'm Has the president the taken president. questions from you since you came in since you he came into office? Unfortunately, yes or no? Only when I have shouted after he goes through his whole list. And the president has been very generous with his time with Fox. I'm just curious about this list that he has given. So the only member of the Five Network pool never on it, dating back to when he resumed in-person events in Wilmington during the end of the campaign. Well, I would say that I'm always happy to have this conversation with you, even about your awesome socks you're having on today, you're wearing today, and have a conversation with you, even when we disagree.